Hey, Heidi here, and I'm excited to share another member with you that's going to talk about how she made $600 in just one day from paint parties. So welcome, April. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. <laughs> you're welcome. Okay, so tell us, um, tell us where you're from and what your business name is so if people want to find you. Okay, so my business name is Paint with April, just like the month. And I'm located in Estacada, Oregon. So I'm on the West Coast out in a little town or a little city. I think we have just under 4,000 people in our city. Oh, wow. Yeah, I grew up in a town of 5,000. So I know <laughs> I know that size very well. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and just get straight to it. So um, you made $600 in just one day with a paint party. So how did that happen and how did you get started doing this? Um, so I've had it happen several times. Um, the instance you were asking me about, I'm not quite sure I remember exactly, but I think it was ceramics because I had a huge, huge <laughs> month of ceramics, like two months full of ceramic sales. Wow. Um, and so I, with COVID, went very virtual, a lot of kits, um, a lot of local pickup, and now I ship as well. And people from the surrounding cities would come to me and get kits. And so I sold a ton of Christmas trees, truck and tree, camper, um, a few of the wreaths, different ceramic kits. And then I would walk them through online virtually how to paint them. So they could choose to join me live or by video and get a recording. So I would um, upload it and send them a short link to my unlisted YouTube video. So they could cast it to their TV and watch it with their girlfriends. And then people just started pouring in pictures of their finished products. And, you know, it just propels yeah. and people want to get in on it. Um, so I also do some wood kits, uh, different things like that, um, a lot of step-by-step -step paintings. Um, and so, yeah, I, it's not uncommon for me to sell six to $800 in kits just from one painting party. And oh gosh, that's awesome. Yeah. So, okay. So let's break this down. Cause I know people are like, oh my gosh, how's she doing this? So right? are you, are you doing like, you know, how you just paint the ceramic and then sell it while you're painting it? Or do you post about it first? So I hardly ever do the reverse painting party that you showed us. Um, I'm very introverted. Once I feel comfortable with people, I can turn on the extrovert, but it's exhausting to me afterwards. And so I'm mentally exhausted for the rest of the day. And so for me to go on camera, it takes a lot of um, guts and nerve. I really have to work up to it. So I'm really good at um, doing social media posts and interacting and engaging with my true audience. And my page is still under a thousand followers, but they buy from me all the time. And then I have a private group of just over 400 people who buy from me a lot, like multiple times a month. And a couple of years ago, I focused on return customers. And so my return rate is now like 87%. People paint with me every, every month or every couple months. And so that has just tenfolded my business and blown it up. So now I can do a social media post and I might do like a sketch canvas and brushes and a little bit of paint and like a cup and a plate and say, hey, look at this fun kit I just had someone pick up. Um, you can order your kits here. And I have my shop now button on my Facebook page so they can open it up. And I always feature like the top five to 10 items that are really moving, people love. That way they can just click and buy. And I get private messages with people booking parties. I've done a lot of birthday parties, um, especially with COVID. It's hard to make your kids feel, you know, celebrate and have fun because they can't have a lot of people over. Our, our state's still really shut down. Mm. And so I do virtual and then they can send me the group photos. And it's just awesome because it just builds your business. If you engage with your customer and you give them a reason to, to brag about you and show what they've done, then they bring their friends and family to you and they refer you like crazy and your business just grows. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited because you said you said you have under a thousand followers. I do. And, and because you're because we have so many people, April, that are watching right now that are terrified to do lives, that are terrified to do video. And so you are proven right here that even with under a thousand followers, you can do a post. And because you have engaged with them, you have this 80, what, 86% return rate on your customers? Yeah, it's 87%. I just figured it out last night to see, because I was at 67 pretty consistently. And um, I have just finally gotten up the nerve to commit to doing 
two live videos a month of free paintings. Mm -hmm. And so I'm using your resources to do that because you allow us to do that. And a lot of artists that you might license with don't like you to do that. Yeah, and so I'm totally okay with it. I know, right? <laughs> so it's awesome because I can use your stuff and I can throw it out there. And um, I am I'm like nine nine hundred ninety one followers and like eight hundred and eighty seven likes. But likes won't matter here really soon because yeah. Facebook is getting rid of them. Mm -hmm. So I really focused on my my true audience, um, not just asking people to blindly follow my page, like. Mm -hmm. Follow my page if you like to paint or you want to paint. Maybe you're scared to paint. Um, I get a lot of first timers and then they become repeat customers. And first timers are great because they bring all their friends that are petrified to paint. Yeah. And they're like, look at what I made. I made this. I'm going to hang this on my wall. And that's the best feeling ever. Uh, and I love that you're having them send their pictures because just like in in person parties, I mean, the thing that really, when I first started out, the thing that really kept my business going was having a party, taking those pictures, posting them, even on my personal page, you know, just saying, Hey, thanks so much for coming. Not a sale, but just a post. Yep. And then it ended up going, Oh my gosh, can you book? Or I'd get a message and it just snowballed. And so the virtual way of that is they finish their paintings. And so how, so let's talk that. So once, you know, you're asking them to send in a picture, are you posting that on your personal and your business? And how are you doing it? So I do a mixture. So um, I learned a long time ago, the secret to social media that a lot of people don't realize, mm -hmm. you don't have to post every single day. If you have an engaged audience, you let that post churn and draw people in. And then as it starts petering down, you throw out another good post. You're not just throwing out random stuff. And so I'm very, because I work full time besides doing my paint business. And my paint business, I made 87000 last year. 87000 That is not. That is not that's, and if, I, if it wasn't for COVID, I would have hit six figures. Wow. Yeah, because I was up to $9,000 a month in sales. And I was selling out parties uh, four or five months ahead of time. I would post it and it would sell it within 10 minutes. And that was in-person parties. Yep. So when COVID okay. happened, I pivoted and, you know, it, it tanked it a little bit, but you keep figuring out what works for your, your audience and your customers. And ultimately we're in the people, people pleasing business. We want to give them what they want to do and show them new things to do and add to it. And so, you know, sometimes I throw things out there and it doesn't stick. And sometimes it does, and it takes off like wildfire. And so you do more of what works. Like you say, do more of what works. Yes. That's the secret. You find what works and you keep doing it. And so, yeah, yeah I do. I do a happy dance between my business page. Oh, hi. My puppy wants to say hi. <laughs> Hello. We're very puppy friendly here. <laughs> so I do a happy dance between my business page and my personal page. And like you said, I don't do salesy every once in a while, but you have to be careful because Facebook's so particular about that. Um, so I do interactive and engaging. Like if you look at my personal profile, um, several days ago, I posted a, a collage of pictures that they sent me from a birch tree painting I did. And I'm like, oh, this was so much fun. Look at, I love all the paintings. Mm -hmm. So many new people trying new things. And I got so many requests for parties. And how do I buy that kit? How do I do that? I want to do that. And so it's just, you, you, you word it in a way that Facebook loves interaction and it draws more people to you and wow. it's like the fountain of plenty right you give and you get and it's just mm -hmm. so awesome I love that I love that you're able to make eighty seven thousand dollars because you had to pivot and you're working full-time I mean that's crazy because I mean you're a go-getter and you have under a thousand followers so again this is another example from April that you don't have to have this massive page to make not good money, but great money doing something like this. There's, there's so much potential. So, you know, it's so cool. Cause when I interview people, April, it's like, I get to hear a little bit about how, you know, they have overcome, you know, their fear or whatever to do this. And I love that you're like, I'm an introvert. I don't want to go live. Here's how I'm doing it. And you're still making it work. So that is, that's, in, that's very impressive. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> very impressive. Oh my gosh. So, okay. So I know there's probably going to be questions. Well, um, you know, if there's questions below, I'm sure April, we can go in and try to help answer, but, um, but let's talk just, you know, before we go here, I know this is just kind of a, a short and sweet, you know, to help inspire. Is there something that 
you want to say that kind of helps those people that are that are trying to do this but they're freaking out a little bit maybe you can help calm them <laughs> so you just get started like that's the hardest part is just get going um i did this for a good two years before i even had a facebook business page um, I did it with friends and coworkers and people that they brought to me and did small parties, never really threw it out there on social media. And so one day I got brave and a girlfriend took me to another paint night and um, she's like, you can totally do this. And I'm like, well, I've been doing it on the side. And she's like, what? Put it out there. And so I, I did, I went home and I just, I had to do it before I thought myself out of it mm -hmm. and like talked myself out of it because fear is such a real thing right mm -hmm. and so I threw it out there and you, you throw it out there and you just know you're going to get some naysayers and if I had listened to those people I wouldn't be where I am today because I did I had people say you know what you're a sweet girl but you're never going to make it in this business this is not not a business and I'm like you know I think you're wrong I, I'm just going to keep going and so now they're coming to me for advice how do I do what you do and I'm like, really? Like six years ago, you were like, that's not a business. Mm -hmm. And so it's so inspiring because, you know, you find people that you want to model yourself after. Like I, I found you, um, you know, I used to do like you do. I, I took tribe last year um, and I know. So you find the people that you want to emulate because it's really true. Like you are a version of the top five people you spend time with. Mm -hmm. And so find the few people that do what you want to do and grab the little nuggets that you can and you just start doing it. Like I don't do all the things, but I add more to it as I get better, I start adding more to it. Mm -hmm. And so, like you said, I, I don't do a lot of live videos and I know that's the fastest way to build my business, but it terrifies me, full on terrifies me. And so now finally after six years, I feel like I can do it. And I'm always fine once I get going. It's just hitting that button. I gotta like talk myself into it and just oh, okay, hit the button. So make a list of the top three things you wanna do. Get a couple girlfriends or friends or family that will support you and be hold you accountable and hold yourself accountable and just do it. Because once you start, it's like a snowball and it just builds. And it's really amazing. And we do, we have such a great job. I mean, bringing art to the world and helping people heal and learn and grow. It's just awesome. It's an awesome feeling. So how can we not share that with people? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I love everything you said. And I love that, that, you know, it does, we're going to have people in our lives that doubt us. And, and, you know, I'm a big believer and I used to word vomit everything. And now I'm a big believer in like, you know, I don't share everything, you know, with, and I, there's things that, you know, I'm not saying keep secrets from your husband, but there's like crazy big dreams I have that I write them to God. Like I just, you know, it's my co-create, like God, could this really happen? Oh my gosh, this would be crazy. Like, you know, if you want this to happen, help me make this happen. And so there's things where, you know, and like you said, you've been doing this for six years. So, you know, for the person watching this, that's been added it for two months and you're just like, oh, it's not going to work, blah, blah, blah. Like breathe, you know, success takes time. And and I love how you were able to pivot and you were able to, you know, really work on return customers. And um, that is a big thing, you know, even in the paint party business and, and um, doing the ceramics, all of that, like, you know, we want to keep creating, you know, and if April has the next new cool thing we can create, why would we not keep buying from April every month? You know, we want mm -hmm. to keep creating and making stuff and, and to have somebody like you that would walk you through it and have the next newest thing, you know, it's just a, a no brainer to keep buying it from you. So I love yeah, that. You, you have to keep an eye on what's trending. And mm -hmm. I don't always jump on every trend, but I kind of, um, I have another secret, like an ultra secret that I share with people because I mentor some people on the side. That's kind of the last couple of years started growing for me. Mm -hmm. Cause like you probably found out as you grow your business, people start following you and then they get up the nerve and they're like, Hey, like I use square for my website and I'm still on their free platform. And I, I have been asked to be interviewed and paid by square to teach other people because I do it so successfully. <laughs> That's and awesome. um, sorry for my puppies in the background. Oh, no, that's okay. <laughs> you can go to my page and look at how cute they are. And then you know why they're just being obnoxious. They're five <laughs> months old. So, um, but 
people will ask me like, can you help me get my business online? Like I helped a biography friend, she does wood burning and she wasn't somebody I knew, but now we're friends and I cheer her on all the time. Mm. Yeah, she paid me, she said, can I pay you a hundred bucks and go take you to coffee and have you help me set up my site? Mm -hmm. And so we did it over a coffee date before, you know, right as COVID was hitting and things weren't closed down. And so you, you never know where God's going to take you in your journey. And at first, when people would ask me for help, I was like, I can't do that. I'm like the introvert. That's not, I'm not a coach. That's not my thing. But I do mentor people. So I never shy away if someone asks me. And I don't spend a ton of time if it's free because, you know, like you said, your, your time is money. And I'm at the point now where I don't have a lot of free time. Right. But I don't never shy away from answering questions and trying to help in our group because I know social media and I, I understand interaction and customer service is my jam. I worked in grocery for the longest time and nothing teaches you customer service than bagging people's groceries and checking them out. <laughs> I worked at HEB, a grocery store for years. And I love, I, there's something about, we called it beep, beep money. Cause it would beep, beep. And then I love yeah. stacking groceries. I don't know why, but I'm always like, if this goes south, I'm going back to the grocery store. <laughs> exactly. exactly. So my day job is in wholesale groceries. So I'm still in the grocery world, but I'm on a different side, like corporate and customer store stuff. So yeah, I just, you know, you just, you just got to get going. Yeah. You find what works for you, make connections. Um, some of my best friends in the world are artists and do different things all over the world. Like my world has opened up so much and mm -hmm. I have some really good friends that we collaborate and help each other and I can throw them something and they're like, yeah, no, try this. And they'll get, they'll be honest with me and be like, that's crazy. Okay. If you want to do it, let me know how it works. <laughs> That's awesome. And it's important too, to not be scared to try new things because it might be something really awesome that takes off. So I love that you're not scared of that. And I love that, that you have a group of friends that you can go to and get feedback from. And, and the same thing inside of paint party headquarters, like there's resources, you know, like get feedback from these, these wonderful ladies like April who are doing the same thing and just, just need somebody to bounce ideas off of. So Oh my gosh, that is awesome. So guys, make sure you go check out April and, you know, at paint with April so you can find out, you know, just follow her and see what she's doing. And I love, love, love everything you're doing. And you are a busy woman. If you're working full-time and making 87,000 a year from bait parties, you are definitely a busy woman. So I just want to say, I appreciate your time and thank you for being here, April. Yeah. Thank you for having me. <laughs> All right. So anywhere else they can follow you besides Facebook? Do you have, what's your website? Um, so I just started uh, being a little more consistent on my Instagram mm -hmm. and they can find me under either April Backwell or Paint with April. I have a creative account that I merged. Um, I have a board on Pinterest. That it's more like painting inspirations to Frankenstein because I'm adding working on my own designs to my stuff. That's a big goal this year for me. Because awesome. um, as you make connections, you have people that say, how do you have all these different things? And, and I'm like, you know, I probably should offer that myself because people keep asking me to, and I keep putting them off. So mm -hmm. I'm awesome. working on my own design. So I love that you teach people how to do that because it just, especially for us introverts gets us out there and like, Oh, it's so scary to put yourself out to the world in different ways. But you know, I, God keeps hitting me upside the head saying, try it, try it. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, okay, okay. <laughs> And you never, you never know where this paint party adventure will lead you. Like I always no. say, you know, you just take the next step and then the next step. And then you just, I mean, you just don't know, you don't know where it's going to lead you. And, but we just have to be willing to keep following the path and, and yeah, and you business. don't have to do all the things either. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I just remembered, I was going to tell you a tip and I got sidetracked when the puppy started talking. Um, <sighs> I find businesses I want to emulate and like maybe in my area that might be showing things that are doing well. And I kind of do some market research, I call it, but I, I don't follow them or like them. I save them on a post in my Facebook thing where you can save. And so I have it labeled art businesses and I can save them in there. So I don't like taint their audience and cause I'm not interacting with them. Mm -hmm. And that way it doesn't hurt them and it doesn't draw people to them from me. Um, but I can pull their stuff up and I can look browse and see like, okay, what's this big company doing? What's the small company doing? Mm -hmm. And make sure that I'm kind of on par with like, my idea is in the market. So that's my market research tip. 
and I keep it all on my phone. Like I can literally run like 97% of my business from my phone. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I, you know, besides the, the video training, almost all of it, I could sit anywhere. So like if you're traveling or you're going to visit a friend or whatever, and you're sitting and waiting, like it's so nice to be able to do everything from your phone. So that's an awesome tip. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah, you're welcome. Oh my gosh. You have so much knowledge and I just love it. So guys, make sure you go follow April and um, let us know what your biggest takeaway is. I know she's talked everything from selling ceramic kits to doing virtual parties and it's tenfolded her business, which is so, so exciting. So um, if you have any questions or you want to um, put your biggest takeaway below, we would love that. And um, thank you so much, April, for being here and we'll talk to you soon. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Bye guys.